Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. I have Rob McMinn writing in. Hi Matt, love your videos and I would really appreciate some advice. I've been seriously getting into photography for the past year and I'm starting to feel the limitations of my D3100 in terms of picture quality, ISO and focusing performance. I like to shoot a bit, bit of everything but mainly my kids, wildlife and macro. I'm considering upgrading to maybe a D5500 or a D7100. Videos not so important. What do you recommend? Can you also recommend a wide angle zoom to complement the upgrade? Sure thing. Um, in this case, it's more cut and dry because you're saying video is not so important. I would definitely go with the 7100. There's some amazing deals on right now. I'll put a link below. I believe you can still get the 7100 with the two lens package for 999. I'll check it out, put a link below, um, which is a great deal. Uh, as far as the wide angle lens, I would go with the Sigma 8 to 16 or as an alternate, the Sigma 10 to 20, especially if you can get a good used copy, you can usually find them for 250 to 300. If price isn't so much of a concern, I really like the eight to 16. The Sigma 10 to 20 is still very nice, gives you a nice wide and used, you can pick it up for 250 probably if, if you shop around and get a nice copy. So that's the way I would go. The reason I would go with the 7100 is a little more advanced autofocus system, more of a pro body in the sense of it's got both the front and back controls. Um, and I just, it's a beautiful body. My only caveat with it, as you've probably seen in other videos, is it doesn't have the very angle LCD, which I really do like. But when you're shooting photography, you don't need it as much. I wish they all had it, but it's video where I really, really want that. I use it a lot for photos, but I'll probably still go with the D7100, um, despite not having the movable screen in your situation where video isn't a big a big deal because I liked some of the features of that that with that camera's leaning towards more of a, of a pro body setup with the front and rear dials and some other things that just make it a really nice well I mean the the autofocus is really nice in that camera it's got basically best in class I mean the 5500 7200 and 7100 all have like best in class APS-C sensors and they're within a hair of each other so yeah go with the 7100 would be my recommendation unless you know, if you really want that very angle LCD, that's the one thing that would tip it towards the D5500. For me, in your situation, that would probably not tip it for me because I like the, the dual control dials and a little bit more pro body uh, on the 7100. Again, Sigma 8 to 16 or 10 to 20. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Would you go in his situation and with Rob where he's not really in video or he's saying it's not that important? Would you go with the 7100 like I said or would you go with the 55? Leave your comments below. And do you agree with me on the wide? Sigma 8 to 16, I've owned it, love it. 10 to 20, also owned it, great lens. Um, and if I was trying to save some money, I would go with that over the 8 to 16. You guys agree with me there too? Leave your comments below. Let's discuss it. Let's help Rob out. Thanks for your question, Rob. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.